are here on day two of my vlogging bookstore adventure. I'm here with my sister. Technically, we're in Maryland. <laughs> I just dropped her phone. <laughs> Technically, we're in Maryland, but her house is right on the border with Washington, D.C. So today, we're gonna be looking at a bookstore here in Hyattsville, Maryland. And then after that, I'm gonna drop her off at home and we're gonna go look at some bookstores in downtown Washington, D.C. But before we do that, I'm really hungry, so we're gonna go get some lunch. So we were walking down the street and we accidentally bumped into a bookstore. It's called Busboy Poets and Books. We're just gonna walk through before we go grab our lunch. Oh, that's, oh, that's kinda cute. <laughs> oh, what? The first thing I see. <laughs> what? I wonder if he's actually. Oh, they're postcards. I wonder if he's actually seen these. I wonder if people actually send that to him. Ah, you would love this. Bad girl. Oh, that's cute. It's rude. Oh, it's the art. Wait, our Darby. Yeah. <laughs> what? How the walls are to connect us? Wow. That's cute. No, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> oh man. So my sister just tried to record our food, but I'm gonna redo it. <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry. Here I'll insert a clip of what her what her video looks like. Ooh, this one's yours. Oh thank you. Just got food and she's ready to eat. <laughs> I'm talking like <laughs> vlog. <laughs> Look what food I got. <laughs> Isn't that how Instagram people are like? Yeah, it's kind of like annoying. <laughs> also, <laughs> why are you recording in vertical, bro? Oh, pray. <laughs> I had the salmon, and she had salmon and shrimp. Yeah, we're gonna eat and then go to the next bookstore. So, I am by myself trying to look for the next bookstore. Well, I found the bookstore. I bought one book, it was two dollars. And it's funny because this book actually has um, a funny story. Uh, when I was in fifth grade, I had this, a huge crush on this boy. 
and I wanted to know like anything and everything about him. So of course me, being the nerd that I am, I thought, oh, well, what's your favorite book? And he told me that it was the Charlie Bone series. So I read the whole entire, or almost the entire series, just to have something to talk to him about. <laughs> if you ever want to make moves on somebody, I guess, go read their favorite book. Oh, also, I am really sad that I didn't buy um, a Clockwork 3. I've already spent so much money and have bought so many books that I wasn't willing to pay the $5 for it. I'm sorry. I'll get it eventually. After the two bookstores this morning, I almost didn't leave the house anymore but I thought I would probably regret it being in Washington DC and not taking the opportunity to plunder all their bookstores. Um, normally I would be like, wow, amazing, a new city, but I've spent a lot of time in Washington DC, so I am not as starstruck by it. I think last November, actually, uh, I was here every weekend. I would drive four hours up because my siblings had a musical that they were um, participating in. It's so cute. Is there a bookstore portion to this? There's a bookstore? Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Bookstore. Thank you. <laughs> we made it to the bookstore. Just had to go to the cafe. I decided not to stay in there for too long. All the books are full price and I'm already on a budget. So, but it was a really cute cafe slash bookstore and it was nice to walk through it. On to the next one. No filming in the store, please. Oh, sure. So I left the bookstore before I could get in trouble and get kicked out. Um, as you heard, they didn't want me recording in there. I snapped a few photos of a few things, but otherwise I just didn't want to push my luck. And I have such a strong urge to document everything that I knew that I would end up recording and get caught. Um, I don't know what I just walked into, but <laughs> it looked like there were some important diplomats in there or something, because there's men in suits and a woman all dressed up. The book owner seemed to like really, really want them to have a good time in there. And there were a ton of expensive books in there, like 
I saw, I think the most expensive thing I saw was a original copy of Milton's Paradise Lost for $50,000. So that is one expensive bookstore. That's pretty crazy. I really wish I could have recorded more. So we're just gonna go ahead and head over to the next bookstore. And the last one of the day, actually. Let's go. While we're walking to this next bookstore, I um, just wanted to talk about something. So whenever I enter a bookstore, there's a couple things going through my head. One, I'm looking at the layout. Do I think it looks nice? Is it pretty? Is it aesthetically pleasing? Stuff like that. And two is whether I can afford anything or not. <laughs> so I definitely enjoy a bookstore based on how many books they have on sale. I'm also, I always have at least one or two books that I'm looking for in my head. So up until yesterday when we were in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, I was looking for Far From the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy. Um, but now that I've finally gotten a copy of that, um, now what I'm kind of looking to get into, it's um, the Wheel of Time series by uh, Robert Jordan. I am thinking about reading it and I'm lost, so give me a sec. <laughs> I was chatting with a bookstore owner about it when I was in Pittsburgh yesterday and he said if you're into high fantasy you'll like it but it is really long apparently there's like 14 books in the series but unfortunately that book uh, that bookstore I was just in um, only had book two and book ten or something like that so I didn't get it if I had to pick between Cleveland, D.C. and Pittsburgh, I don't know. Pittsburgh was cool, but it was way too crowded. D.C. is a little less crowded than Pittsburgh, maybe, in my opinion. But it's still pretty crazy. And Cleveland got is like nice in one area, and then it was a little scary in other areas. And now I'm lost again. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have my pity coffee to make myself feel better because coffee doesn't actually make me awake or anything I just drink it for the taste and I think I'm gonna call it for today I google map the area and there aren't any more bookstores that are open thank you guys so much for following me around today it is so much fun getting to share with all of you the cool bookstores and you know sometimes i wonder if anyone's actually gonna watch any of this but then i stop and think my husband watches videos of a guy unlocking locks so if people watch that in their free time somebody's gonna enjoy looking at bookstores <laughs> thank you for joining me on this vlog i'll see you guys next time cheers